So I was born on the 12th anniversary of the um, decriminalization of abortion in Canada. So my birthday is May 14th and I'm going to be celebrating my 38th birthday this year. And uh, it's very much impressed upon me that this is the day that things changed in Canada. We are mourning 50 years of lives lost and um, it's something that's not lost on me every time I celebrate a birthday. Um, I'm thinking of all the babies who didn't get to celebrate birthdays this year and all the people that could have been born and would have been born and, and sometimes that can be a heavy burden because we see women coming in our centers all the time who have abortions book and sometimes we get through to them. Sometimes they change their minds and we have all sorts of pictures and videos of, of women uh, uh, who didn't go down that path of babies who are alive today because our organization was there. But uh, there are so many more babies that unfortunately we weren't able to save and mothers we weren't able to get through. And sometimes you wonder, if I only would have said this, or if we would have done that. And it's really easy to think about those things. But yeah, it's definitely um, impactful for me and I, I don't think it's a coincidence that I was born on May 14th and that God has given me this passion. I often say to people who are generally against abortion but don't know what to do, um, just refuse to do nothing. There's so many ways to get involved and, and I think a lot of it just really starts with caring. Like if you allow your heart to be broken by the lives that are being lost every day in this country, it's going to spur you on to action and you might have an idea that nobody else in the movement has ever had. I think we need as many people as possible, we need as many minds together as possible to be able to um, address this.